Hello, so I'm TJPJ Music, and I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on stereo separation. Um, um, so the basic concept of stereo separation is that you're creating a difference between the left and right channels. So that could be, a, most of the time, that's a time difference. So they're going to offset the phase by a few milliseconds. Um, you can also create that difference from stuff that's already there, just accentuate it. It's also stereo separation. Um, so you've got two ways to perform stereo separation that are built into FL. One of them is this little dial here. This is your stereo separation dial. And what's that, what that's going to do is it's just going to accentuate, accentuate the differences between the left and the right channel. So if there's a difference, it'll be a bigger difference or a smaller difference. So if you go all the way here, your channel becomes 100% mono. If you go over, all the way over here, it becomes 100% stereo, basically. Or you can just go to whatever the original sample was. was. So for, for the sake of this tutorial, I've got this little pattern here. It's got a simple beat and a single note, which happens to be a pad. For now, I'm going to mute the pad because I'm just going to go over what stereo separation is like on a beat. So the basic beat sounds like this. Now I'm going to put some stereo separation on the hat. Generally, you want your kick to be 100% mono. So I'm going to just turn the kick to 100% mono, although it probably was already. These samples are very mono. Um, so I'm going to use the Stereo Enhancer plugin, oh, not the Stereo Shaper, Stereo Enhancer, to create the difference between the two sides. So while this dial accentuates it, it doesn't actually create it. I'm going to use this dial, which is the phase offset dial, to, to create that difference in the first place. So I'm going to make it 10 milliseconds left, just so you can hear the difference. I can make it 10 milliseconds right. You'll probably have a hard time telling the difference, but... Now if I turn it up to, let's say, 200 milliseconds, and I'm just going to play that hat, you can already hear that one side is, being, is playing definitely before the other side, and that's 200 milliseconds difference in time, basically. And I can this dial here, the stereo separation dial, does the exact same thing as this stereo separation dial, and it will accentuate those differences. Now, it's actually slightly different. This one, I'm not exactly sure what the difference is, but this one, as you go higher, the um, volume drops. So it's probably just a different algorithm for creating, creating the differences. Um, this one, the volume t feels like it increases as you increase the stereo separation. So I'm going to leave this one as is and use this here. Turn it up to like right there. And you can actually hear the, the claps, the, the hi-hat sounds louder using that. It also sounds like it has more dimension. So you can also do that on the, on the clap, I'm not going to. Um, and you can also add stereo separation to the, um, like the feedback in a delay. So you've got your delay. Now I can change this offset to 10, mil 10 milliseconds left. And you can hear that by changing this offset, there's a time difference between the two bits of the delay. So I'm going to get rid of the delay because I don't want it in this particular tutorial. But it's a useful thing to know. And again, that adds dimension to your delay. Um, so now I'm going to go over an instrument. This is a pad from the harm, a default pad in the Harmless plugin. It's right down presets. Where is it? Uh, right, this one right here. Um, first, first pad preset. You can get to it from stuff over. Here. You can get to it from like uh, plugin presets, etc. Um, so it's just a basic pad, pad, and with the whole thing, it sounds like this. You can hear you can hear already it's going back and forth. So it, this pad already has st stereo separation, like stereo separation there. So I can increase it. 
and you're not going to notice much of a difference um, by adding the stereo separation plugin on a pad but if you were to do it on a pluck for instance let's go with uh, dancer pluck or dream keys will do okay, so dream keys sounds like this and we'll just change this down to so now when we play it it sounds like this I'm going to just offset it so that you can hear it through the kick. And do some stuff like that so that it sounds better in our particular case. Now right now, you're not, there's no real panning going on, so for this you have to add the stereo, stereo enhancer plugin. If you look carefully right here, you can actually see that the, what was just a sort of vertical bar has now become two vertical bars that are slightly offset, and that's what you're going to hear when you hear the sound. Um, so some plugins have some VSTs have built-in stereo separation plugins, um, and like Massive, for instance, but they call it like Dimension Expander in Massive. Um, you can also do this stuff with like vo vocals. So let's see if I can find some vocals. Um, I'm feeling fruity today. No, I'm not going to use those kind of vocals. Uh, let's look. No. Uh, I had some here. Let's see. Yeah, let's see um, well. They're somewhere around here, but I can just use like Fallen Stars. Leave. I can just use that. Fallen Stars. Leaving trails and that's from one of my songs. Um, I'm not sure if this was the final recording or not. Probably wasn't. Probably messed up on the vocals or something, but basically I can make this in here. And the basic sound. Falling stars, leaving trails across the sky. So I'm, I'm a little bit out of tune there, but and we can add stereo separation, stereo enhancer, and we can offset. Falling stars, leaving trails across the sky. Falling stars. Just for you and I. Oh. And you can def you can definitely hear the increased dimension. Like the feels like it's coming from more all around you when you add the stereo separation. So that's all I think for this tutorial. Um, check out my other tutorials. Check out my music. And yeah, um, comment, subscribe, that kind of thing. So peace out.